friends. This week, our essential question is, what can happen when, when we work together? And I have started to talk to you about the words teamwork and cooperation. When we're showing teamwork, we are cooperating with one another. Today, we're going to talk about a new word, and that word is disagree. To disagree means to have a different opinion from someone else. You're not always going to agree with what somebody else believes in. I want you to look at my screen. It says disagreeing with the team. We won't always agree with our teammates, but we can always disagree respectfully. Respectfully. So I'm going to show you a short video today. I think you will really enjoy it. And while you listen to it, I want you to think about what it means to disagree respectfully. So now let's watch this video. How to disagree with people. Not that you need any help. There's lots of stuff to disagree on if you're looking for it. Cake versus pie, apples or oranges, this sports team versus this sports team. Which movie star is better, Ryan Goose Baby or Charming Tater? I don't know. Some people even argue for tree. You just standing there, huh? Listen to this opinion. I got an opinion. Who am I to judge, though? Maybe that tree says something about his mama. I'm just saying, some people just get worked up about anything. Even One Direction, they're not all going the same direction anymore. Bye-bye, Zane. Everyone loved you. You broke everyone's heart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some people argue about which animal is better. Cat, dog, elephant, or donkey. Eh? Anyway. <laughs> okay, okay. You're not always going to agree. Even with the most agreeable person in the world. Just saying. Just saying. So look, in a world with so many things to disagree on, we got to learn how to disagree without making everybody feel terrible. Step one, treat people like they're people, people. I know, seems pretty simple. But in a heated argument, you can forget that you're talking to a person, a human being, someone who has a heartbeat. Unless you're arguing with a tree, um, that's, that's a whole other problem. I can't help you there. Step two, listen, listen, listen. Listen, before trying to change someone's opinion, take time to listen to them, even if what they say does not make sense. That's the power of treating someone like a person. You gotta hear them out. You got two ears and one nose for a reason. You gotta listen more than you smell. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Keep listening. Step three, pause, breathe, love. When you disagree, you're gonna want to do some crazy stuff, like yell or write and release a whole entire album outlining that you're right and they're wrong. Don't do it. Instead, you gotta pause, breathe, love. It's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be mean. Don't say it until you can say it with love. There's plenty of legit stuff to be mad at in the world. This life stuff, it's hard. Let's not just spend our time here being mad at each other. You don't have to see eye to eye the word shoulder to shoulder, people. Step four. Are you stuck in an argument? Distract them. Look, I know we don't see eye to eye, but baby koalas are awesome. But we weren't talking about that. Did you see it? Three words, baby koalas. That's two words. All you want to do is disagree. Just enjoy the koala babies, man. Baby koalas bring peace. Step five, acceptance. Here's something you gotta accept. Not everybody is the same, and that's a good thing. I mean, imagine the world with just full of Rain Wilsons. Nightmare, right? I'm just kidding, Graham Williams. You're a beautiful and amazing specimen. <laughs> I'm just saying, we need variety. We need disagreement. We may not like it, but we need each other. We just gotta learn to be more awesome to each other. It's like what Nelson Mandela said. If you wanna make peace with your enemy, you have to work with your enemy. And then he becomes your partner. And then there's Gandhi. He said, honest disagreement is often a good sign of progress. I mean, both of them have disagreements with people. Well, it's not always easy, but they tried to treat people like they're people. People. 
We can also look to the words of somebody else. The amazing Pokemon, Meow. We do have a lot in common. The same air, the same earth, the same sky. Maybe if we start looking at what's the same, instead of always looking at what's different. Well, who knows? Yeah, that's from the Pokemon movie. So it has to be true. It is true, you know it is. Grown-ups, we kids have been watching you. We've been learning how to disagree with people by watching you. We've seen some healthy disagreements, and also lots of um, recent disagreements. Nobody wins when all we want to do is win. We got a whole world to make more awesome. No time to be yelling back and forth to each other. Maybe we should stop, breathe, love. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. We can disagree, but we can't let it make us forget. Step six, dance. Ooh, some mail. Boys and girls, I hope that you enjoyed that video as much as I did. I found it to be very funny, but it also addresses a very important topic about disagreeing with people. It's okay to disagree with someone, but it's how you disagree that's important. So remember that we all have feelings. You treat others respectfully. Be a good listener to them. As he said, pause. If you're very upset, pause, breathe, love. Sometimes it helps to distract the person that you are arguing with just to get on to another topic. So sometimes it does help to distract them from what you're arguing with. But also accept that we aren't all the same. We don't all have the same opinions. And again, that's okay. It's okay to disagree with a teammate. It's okay to disagree with someone in your team but you must disagree respectfully. She treat each other with kindness. So when we talk about our essential question this week and we talk about working together as a team, I want you to make sure that you're working together as a team respectfully. So boys and girls, until I see you next time with another video on um, teamwork and cooperation. I want you to think about how you can disagree with someone respectfully at home. Okay, until next time, I'll see you soon.